Hey, this is Gideon over at the Icon Factory, and as you may have known, we released our new game for the iPhone and iPod Touch Astronaut uh, this week, and I just wanted to take a real quick minute to show some cool strategy tips uh, for you iPhone users out there that you may not be aware of when you play Astronaut. Um, we've been playing for some time, and uh, we've been coming up with all these little helpful tips and tricks, so I thought it would be a good idea to just show some of them off, and uh, hopefully you can use them to get a better score, get higher in the leaderboard on Game Center. So here's the first one I wanted to show. And one of the things that you have to keep in mind is when you're playing, you want to get, if you want to get at the top of the leaderboard, you want to get as many bad guys as you can. The more bad guys you get, the higher points you'll get. So you don't want to miss any of them. But when some of them are in configurations like this, like these space squids, you're like, well, <clears throat> how can I get them all with a single jump? Um, you can't if you go straight up, obviously, but you can boost through them if you go at just the right angle. And I'm going to try that here. The trick is, uh, missed one, but you get the idea. Um, you can use the sides of the screen to your advantage um, to boost through waves of enemies that aren't aligned uh, properly to get them vertically. And here's another little helpful tip. Um, when you go to get shields, you know, always try to make them count. Um, if you can, get as many bad guys with them as you can. So here we've got the shield and the squids up above orbiting a jumpy planet, a springy planet. And I'm going to grab that shield and get as many bad guys as I can. Now oh, the shield's gone now. But I did maximize it. You always want to pick up those hearts and shards if you can, because even if you don't need them, they're worth points. So don't be afraid to, to get them. Go ahead and get them. Plus, there are achievements tied to hearts and shards as well, so you'll want to get as many of them as you possibly can. Um, another thing that you might want to keep in mind, too, is that boost will work depending on how long you hold it down. So if you just tap it, you'll just, just barely jump off the planet. I'll show you that here. Like that. And if you hold it, then of course you'll go further. Why is that important? Well on further levels up above, there'll be times when you're stuck on a particular planet and you'll want to just get, a, you want to get around the rotation of the planet, but you won't want to get off the planet. So just tapping the boost like that will help you to, to, to get it. It comes in particular handy when you get to the ice fields of Omega-4. Um, and it can also be handy with some of the other uh, bad guys as well, like planet hoppers and invisamoebas. Uh, and finally, people are asking on Twitter, like, well, what, what good is boost other than getting through a level really, really quickly? Well, I don't really use the boost to get through a level. I use it to get out of a tight spot. So I usually try to keep boost active and ready and keep it in reserve because when you start jumping into the unknown and you got bad guys coming up on you, you never know when you're going to need it. If I just jump, then I'm going to eventually I'm going to run into guys that I don't know that are there. And doing that, if I don't have a shield, will get you out of some tight spots. So you always want to try to keep the, the boost charged if you can, unless you're trying to get through a level, you know, if you're trying to get through it and you're so close to the end and you want to finish a sector, you know, you can boost your way through it and that will come in handy too. But right there, I would have been killed if I hadn't boosted. Yeah, I love those shields. Your boost will run out, and if you just boost away into the stratosphere, you'd never know where you'll be when it runs out. Here's a planet popper. And 
the trick to them is they'll come at you until they get you, but if you grab a shield, they'll start running the opposite way. So if you want to make short work of them, try to find a shield and, and get them. I hope that helps um, with your enjoyment of Astronaut, and uh, check out astronautapp.com for more tips and tricks and answers to your frequently asked questions. Thanks.